What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Derek and today we're going to be talking about some news. Just different stories throughout the week that I found interesting and I wanted to bring to you guys. I'm thinking about doing something like news of the week. If this is something that interests you, drop a comment and let me know and I'll continue to do this. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about NFTs, amusement parks, Kanye West, China, once in a lifetime generational things that happen way too much. And at the end of all this, I'm going to tell you my opinion on every situation. Okay, first we have Kanye West. He is filing trademarks to do NFTs and an amusement park. Maybe like a Astro World Yeezus World theme crosses everywhere, maybe. I don't know. It's also going to be interesting what he does with his NFTs. Uh, I would like for him to do something with his music. Uh, I could see him doing something with obviously his clothing brand with Gap and Adidas and Yeezus and everything else and digital Yeezys. I think personally, he's kind of behind on the wave. But hey, when you're Kanye, you could really do whatever you want because people are going to follow you regardless. And on bad news, Beijing, the capital of China, is seeing an explosive outbreak of, you know, the Rony Rona, which is kind of crazy because we will never, ever fully get the right information of what's going on in China because China is so tight with their information. So the fact that we do have articles saying that China is kind of having a, a massive outbreak is uh, kind of scary because they probably are downplaying what it is, right? Because they don't want to scare the whole world considering they supply the whole world with everything. And then this is going to tie into the next article. And I'm just going to go over three articles today because I just want to do something short, simple, fun, and straight to the point. This is according to Morgan Stanley co-president Ted Pick coming in with a bold quote, statement, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to throw it on the screen right here. And I'm going to read it with you. It's an extraordinary moment. We have our first pandemic in 100 years. We have our first invasion in Europe in 75 years. And we have our first inflation around the world in 40 years. And he follows up basically saying, like, it's a mess. And if you can't agree with that, I'm, I, I don't know what you think is a mess. Because now we just seen China's having an issue with uh, Rony Rona. That means our supply chain is not going to get better. And the war doesn't seem to be doing anything but making everybody mad. And now we have more inflation because of outside forces because we don't control anything besides a dollar bill and now that dollar bill is inflating to never ever land what a wonderful time to be alive but anyways guys that was just the news for today something quick simple straight to the point little light i would say airy and fun but that really wasn't so much fun there's a lot of bad things going on in the world but it's important to uh you know stay grounded with yourself appreciate yourself help yourself become better and just invest in yourself and let the world do what it does because at the end of the day you really can't control these situations in China or, you know, the situation in Russia and Ukraine, the situation with our president, gas prices. You have no control over that. What you have control over is your actions. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate you guys staying to the end of the video. If you guys like this type of content, I would appreciate it if you drop the like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you got to do to stay in the loop. I drop a video about every day helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, and emotionally. But with that being said, guys, my name is Derek and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.